Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub. So today in this video, I'll tell you about some more problems on Fourier series. So let's check out this problem. So we have to find out the Fourier series expansion for fx when fx is given to us as x plus x square and the interval is from minus pi to pi and then we need to deduce these two expressions, right? So let us try to see how to go about this question. So in this question, let us see, first of all, the interval is from minus pi to pi. So whenever the interval is from minus L to L, we need to check whether the given function is even or odd. But in this case, you can see neither the function is even nor the function is odd. It is a combination of an odd and an even function. So in that case, we cannot completely declare whether it is even or odd, but then we can use the properties in the questions. So here, we will first need to calculate a naught. So according to the interval, a naught is 1 by pi, integration minus pi to pi, f of x dx, right? So first of all, since the function is x plus x square, let us put it. So we will get minus pi to pi, and then we have x plus x square dx. So you can see that we can break the interval. Uh, sorry, instead of breaking the interval, we can break the integral, right? So the first integral is minus pi to pi x dx. And the second integral is minus pi to pi x square dx. Now we know that in the interval minus L to L, if the function is odd, the integral is always zero. So you can see this is an odd function. So if it's an odd function, this integral will become zero. So we just need to integrate this. So this will become 2 pi pi and I can write the integral as 0 to pi x square dx, right? I'm using the properties of even function. So this is 2 pi pi. x square integration is x cubed by 3 limits from 0 to pi. So we get 2 pi, 2 by pi, pi cubed by 3. So 1 pi will get cancelled and we will have 2 pi square by 3, right? So this is the value of a naught. So let us now calculate a n. So a n is 1 by pi minus pi to pi and then we have x plus x square into cos n pi x so l is pi so you'll get cos nx dx so again let's make the two integrals as according to the two given functions so the first integral is minus pi to pi x into cos nx dx and the second integral is minus pi to pi x square into cos nx d right so now let us see. Now this is an odd function and cos is an even function. The product of odd and even is an odd function. So an odd function from minus pi to pi is always 0. So this is now an even function and even function product of two even function is even function. So we will get 2 by pi and I can write this integral as 0 to pi x square into cos nx dx. Right. Let us do integration by parts. So 2 by pi here, when we integrate, we get x square. Cos nx integration is sin nx by n. Then x square derivative is 2x. Sin nx integration is minus cos nx by n square. Then plus 2x derivative is 2 minus cos nx integration is minus sin nx by n cube. Right. And we put the limits from 0 to pi. So now again, let's see which integral will become 0. Sin n pi and sin 0 both are 0. So this will give us 0. Similarly, this expression will also give us 0. So what are we left with? I can take out this 2 common and n square common and minus minus will become plus. So I have 4 by n square pi. And then when I put in the limits, I'll get pi cos n pi. So, pi into minus 1 raised to power n and 0 will give us 0, right? So, 1 pi will get cancelled and we have 4 into minus 1 raised to power n divided by n squared. So, let me write down the coefficients over here because I need the space. I'll just rub it off. So, a naught is 2 pi square by 3. 
and a n is coming out to be 4 into minus 1 raised to power n divided by n square right and the third thing is we will calculate b n right so just let me clear off the space yes so now let us calculate the coefficient b n now right so when i calculate the coefficient b n i'll get 2 by sorry it's 1 by pi then we have minus pi to pi f of x that is x plus x square and then we have sine n x dx right so now let us separate this integral so we get 1 by pi minus pi to pi x into sin nx dx plus x square minus pi to pi x square sin nx dx right so now when i see this integrals what do i find i can see that this is odd function this is odd function product of two odd function is an even function so this will give me result but this is an even function and this is an odd function. So, product of even and odd is always a odd function. So, this integral will become 0, right? So, this integral will become 2 by pi integration 0 to pi x into sin nx dx, right? So, now let us do this integration by path. So, we get 2 by pi, then we have x into integration of sin nx is minus cos nx by n then minus derivative of x is 1 integration of minus cos nx will become minus sin nx by n square right limits from 0 to pi so now sin n pi and sin 0 will give us 0 so this integration is 0 and let us see what will the first integration give us so we get minus 2 by n pi and we have pi cos n pi so pi cos n pi is minus 1 raised to power n 0 will give us 0 right so this is pi gets also cancelled so we get minus 2 into minus 1 raised to power n divided by n so let me note down bn over here so bn is minus 2 into minus 1 raised to power n by n right so now let me just clear off the space to do the deduction okay so now let us calculate the deduction. So before we do the deduction, let us write down the Fourier series expansion. A naught by 2 plus pi square by 3 plus summation n going from 1 to infinity. And then we have 4 into minus 1 raised to power n divided by n square cos nx plus summation n going from 1 to infinity minus 2 into minus 1 raised to power n divided by n into sin nx. So, let us find out first few terms of this expansion to understand how to deduce these expansions. So, I can take out 4 by, I can take out 4 common, that's it. So, when I take out 4 common, now when I put 1, I'll get minus 1 by 1 square cos x plus 1 by 2 square cos 2x minus 1 by 3 square cos 3x and so on. And for the second term, I can take out minus 2 common from all the expressions. And now when I put 1, I'll get minus 1 by 1 sin x plus uh, on putting n equal to 2, I'll get 1 by 2 sin 2x then minus 1 by 3 sin 3x and so on right so this is my fx now let us check the deduction part in the deduction part you can see i need all the terms with plus and minus terms and i don't need these terms i need the square terms so i have to give some values to x so that all these terms become one and these terms vanish right so what expression what value can i give right so, see, if I put x equal to 0, what will happen? Cos 0 is 1. Uh, all these terms are plus 1, right? But then I need alternatively plus minus. So, if I put x equal to pi, then what will I get? If I put x equal to pi, what will happen? Cos pi is... Okay. So, that means the deduction will be for x equal to 0 
So let's put x equal to 0 first. So when we put x equal to 0 in this expansion, I, I need f of 0 and I can see that 0 is a point of continuity and f of 0 will give me 0. So 0 is equal to pi square by 3 plus 4 into when I put cos of 0, I'll get minus 1 by 1 square. Then I'll get 1 by 2 square minus 1 by 3 square and so on. These terms will all become 0. So minus pi square by 3 will come here. And I can take out minus sign common and I'll get 1 by 1 square minus 1 by 2 square plus 1 by 3 square and so on. Right. So you can see that you can take out this minus 4 this side and you get this expansion. Right. Now for the second deduction what we need to do. You can see that I need to make all these terms positive. So by x equal to 0 I am getting alternatively plus minus. So you can put x equal to pi and check, right? If you put x equal to pi, I need on the left hand side f of pi and on the right hand side I get pi square by 3 plus 4. Cos pi is minus 1, so this will be 1 by 1 square. Cos 2 pi is again positive 1, so I will get 1 by 2 square and you can see the rest of all the terms are positive, right? Now the question is how to calculate f of pi. Pi is a point of discontinuity. So how to calculate f of pi? So f of pi will be calculated with the Richlitz formula that we have done in the previous video. So it is half f of pi positive and f of pi from the lower limit, right? Left hand limit. So let me explain how to get this value. So we have minus pi in the interval here and the interval here pi and the function here is defined as x plus x square, right? Now let us try to calculate f of pi plus. Pi when we add something in this, I'm outside the interval, right? But I know that the function is periodic. So the function also behaves same in the interval pi to 2 pi. The gap is, sorry, pi to 3 pi. The gap is 2 pi, right? So that means if I subtract the period from this function, I'll get the same value. The function is same. So to get inside the function, I can subtract its period and I have to approach it from the positive side. And what is f of pi minus? Pi minus means I'm deleting something from pi. That means I'm inside this interval. Inside this interval, I know the value. It is pi plus pi square, right? Now what is f of pi minus 2 pi? Pi minus 2 pi will be half of f of minus pi from the positive side and this is pi plus pi square, right? Now, minus pi in the positive side, that means I'm adding something to it. When I'm adding some to it, something to it, I'm inside this interval. So, I need to calculate the value at f of minus pi. So, it will be minus pi plus minus pi whole square, which is pi square, which is pi plus pi square right so pi gets cancelled pi square pi square is 2 pi square that is pi square so instead of f of pi we can substitute pi pi square here right and now you can see that you can take this pi square on the other side you'll get 3 uh, 2 pi square by 3 and then 4 will come here and you'll get this expansion pi square by Right. So this is how we go about these deductions. Right. So I have also given you one more problem in this question. So you can see the deduction for x equal to 0. And this is the problem. You need to find out the Fourier series expansion for this function. So attempt this question without looking at the solution. Though I have given the solution over in this video itself. So you can check your answers. Right. And if you like the video, do hit the like button. And those of you who have not subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. And believe in yourself and you will be able to succeed. Thank you.